Hello, and welcome to another episode of MetaHacks brought to you by Actionable Insights. My name is Seth Harrison, and today I want to talk about sharing your scans. Once you've scanned a property and uploaded it to the cloud, and it's been processed in the Matterport's website, you have the option of sharing that scan. Uh, in many different ways. You can share a branded link, you can invite a collaborator, and there's a couple hacks that I've actually found out while preparing for this video that I want to share with you. So, first and foremost, I have a Matterport individual space open. This is from one of our recent training events. And you'll see up here that I would love to be able to share this, but it, the arrow is grayed out, and it says when you highlight over it, please make space public to share. Well, right next to it on the left, it says space is private, and I can click that and confirm that I want to make this space public. Now I have the option to share this space. So when I click this button, it brings up this little window and you'll see branded, unbranded, LMS, uh, MLS, VR, for restoration purposes, all we're ever going to need is branded and unbranded for the most part. So I have the option of taking the branded link and copying it or the unbranded link and copying that. Or you can click in the box, hit Control A to select all and Control C to copy it. Difference between branded and unbranded. When you set up your Matterport profile, you enter your company information. So actionable insights, for example. If you send a branded link, while the scan is loading, uh, it will say presented by actionable insights or whatever your company is. If you send it unbranded, it will not have the presented by section. So you have the option to send these scans to a contractor, to an adjuster, to a policyholder, all of the material inter materially interested parties in the claim settlement process for that claim, for that property. So that's how you send out an individual link that someone can access and they just see the front end access. This is the what we refer to as the back end access. And then you have over here, I'll bring it in, the front end access is what they would see. So now let's say you do a lot of work with a specific adjuster or a specific contractor and you scan a lot of properties that they work on and you want to invite them uh, to a scan. Now, you have the option to invite them to a particular scan or a particular folder. In this case, I'm going to start with the scan. And you can see up here in the top right, invite collaborator. And I have the option, I'm going to put in our support email address. And I'm going to put in an email address. This is going to generate an email invitation to have access to this particular scan. And you have two options here, can view and can edit. Can view means that they have a Matterport login to your account and they can see this, but they don't have access to edit it. And then can edit will provide them access to the back end where they can actually add matter tags and perform measurements using the virtual measuring, measuring tool. So this is inviting an individual to one particular scan. Now, like I was saying, sometimes you might do a lot of scans for an individual party and you want to provide them a folder that they can have access to. So if I go to a folder to, let's say, recent uploads, and I want to invite somebody, invite a collaborator. I'm going to go up here to the top right. I'm going to hit invite. I'm going to go support at getinsights.org. And I have the same options, can view, can edit. Now, when this person, if they do not have a Matterport account, when they click the link, it'll uh, prompt them to sign up and register for a free Matterport account uh, or login. And or if they already have it, all they have to do is log in and it will show up as a folder that is accessible to them. Now, one thing I noticed while I was preparing this, you'll see this plus plus button, invite collaborator. When you hit this button, it brings up this window and it says collaborators must be added on the account collaborators page and accept the invitation before they can be added to a space or folder. Their UI is constantly updating. This is actually overcome by events now. If you go into an individual folder, you can invite a collaborator from here without needing to invite them on the collaborator page. You can access the collaborator page up here in the top left. So if I hit this button, it's going to tell me, please invite them as a collaborator to the account. Then you can provide access to an individual folder or space. Or you can just come up here to the top right and you can bypass that entire step and just invite a collaborator to an individual space. If I were to invite someone to this one, it would invite them to my recent uploads folder. So. As you use Matterport scans and digital assets to help you settle claims, you'll have the opportunity to send a branded or unbranded front end link to a scan for someone to review. Uh, matter tags and everything else can be shown in that. You can also invite them to an individual scan and provide edit access so that a homeowner can provide direction via matter tags or uh, provide access to an adjuster so that they, have, they can use the measuring tools and see what you see. 
or you can invite somebody to a folder. If you work for all, a lot for one particular party or individual and you have a relationship, you'd like them to have access to a folder of their scans, you can create that folder, put the scans in that folder, and then again, invite the collaborator to have access to that folder. And you get to control if they can view, just view it or if they have the option to edit it. It's allowing the claims process, it's a new level of communication in the claims process through all material interests of parties. Uh, this has been another Matter Hack. I hope you've enjoyed. Please like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you next week.